here are the top five reasons that I decided to go to UChicago to get my MBA. I'm trying to do non-obvious reasons here. Everybody knows this is where fun goes to die. Everyone knows that it's a highly quantitative school, or at least if you've done like some of your research on this sort of thing. I just want to talk about things that weren't super obvious and things I didn't realize until I actually went there. So hopefully it's a little bit more of a helpful video than just looking up the school's reputation on like US News Report, for example. So the first reason I went there is the flexibility with their scheduling. They offer nighttime MBAs, they offer weekend MBAs, they offer full-time MBAs. And with all these different ways to teach the MBA, there's tons of different course scheduling options. Like if you're in the nighttime MBA program, you can take classes on Saturdays. If you're in the Saturday MBA program, you can take full-time classes. Basically, whatever seats are available at the end of signups are available to everyone in the program. And there's just way more seats than there are people. So you can really make your own schedule. I ended up being in a super weird position where I got the job I wanted after my MBA, like right before I started my MBA. So it was important for me to be able to do the MBA while doing this job that I really liked. And that meant that I couldn't take standard class times. Another thing that was pretty crazy was the amount of remote options. I did a lot of quarters out of San Francisco. So I just took multiple remote courses and I was able to be a fully enrolled student taking three to four classes in a quarter all from another city so that I could be in person in the office and focus on that job. I just think it was awesome that once my career really ramped up in San Francisco, I had the option to move back there and still make progress towards my MBA. Non-obvious reason number two, also on the flexibility note, Chicago Booth has by far the most flexible curriculum of any top business school. I think there's three classes that you're required to take out of 20, and then within the rest, there's a ton of flexibility. For example, I took six classes outside of the business school. That was 30% of my MBA in other graduate programs, like the liberal arts program, for example. So the third non-obvious reason is the location of the University of Chicago. Chicago is an awesome city to spend two years of your life in, and grad school is a great excuse to go there. I think a lot of people that are competitive enough to get into a school like that will gravitate towards coastal cities or hubs like New York for finance, San Francisco for tech, LA for entertainment, etc. And grad school is just this great excuse to check out a new city. I think Chicago is super well suited for grad school because when you compare it to the other places that you could be going like Berkeley, New York City, Boston, Chicago is actually much more affordable. So you can get that city lifestyle, like a proper city lifestyle, while also being able to have a little bit more spare change than some of the other options of top MBAs. Okay, non-obvious reason number four. They just give a lot of scholarships. I did not think that I was going to get money off for my MBA, and it's weirdly been really affordable because the University of Chicago was able to give me a good scholarship for my GMAT score, basically. To be completely honest, I think this is why Booth tends to rank so highly in the rankings these days. The rankings need to use objective measures like GMAT score, undergrad GPA, income coming in versus income coming out. And UChicago just does a really good job here. They give significant scholarship if you can boost those stats up. So I think if you have an outlier high GPA or an outlier high GMAT, a place like UChicago could be a great place for you to apply because you could get quite a bit of money off. And for me, I wanted to be as debt averse as possible so that I didn't have to feel tied down to any specific job. So when you combine the scholarship situation, plus the flexibility in the schedule, which allowed me to maintain my income, I'm actually gonna graduate from this thing with no debt. And that was literally impossible at any other school. For me, at least. Okay, so the last non-obvious reason is the vast, vast set of resources for entrepreneurship. When I was applying, I heard that UChicago was supposed to be the place that just turns you into an investment banker, turns you into somebody in investment management. Not really my thing. I didn't enjoy working in that industry. I did it before. I just wanted to stay in tech. But then when I started to dig in, I found that the school really, really prioritizes entrepreneurship. It feels like such a misconception that Booth is completely focused on finance when it has so much more to offer. It has this entire program where you submit a business idea and then you go through subsequent classes and the classes are you pitching to investors or you getting feedback on that idea. And if you end up doing really well, you actually end all the courses with significant funding. 
and this funding is no joke the resources are no joke these are how things like grubhub got funded i think braintree got funded which is the company that owned venmo for a little while it's just a really credible incubator and it seems pretty unmatched amongst the other business schools and then there's just a ton of these different classes that you can take where you can just learn more and more about entrepreneurship I took a class where we made a business plan and we basically rolled dice that uh, represent the likelihood of different outcomes and those outcomes and how we shielded ourselves from those outcomes ended up deciding if we did well in the class or not. So for example, um, did you need to hire an engineer and by hiring that engineer, did you deplete some of your capital? If an adverse event happened, did you run out of all your money and your startup had to go over like that sort of thing? Ended up being super realistic. Took a class where I learned how to pitch, how to sell as an entrepreneur. Took a class where I learned how to create uh, pools for stock options. Just you name it, they end up having it. And there's all these people within the Chicago ecosystem that are just so passionate about this sort of thing and have successfully launched all these different companies and they're willing to teach at the university and give back to the next generation of entrepreneurs or tech people like myself. And, I don't know if I'm gonna go into entrepreneurship full time. Maybe this is my attempt at that with YouTube, but I just really, really enjoyed uh, having all of those resources. And I found that those classes were much more interesting than corporate finance or accounting, for example. So yeah, there's just so many cool entrepreneurship classes. I, I guess that's all I'm saying. Okay. Yeah, I hope that was pretty helpful. So in conclusion, school's super flexible. So it's super flexible in what time you get to take your classes or what modality you get to take your classes in. Uh, it's super flexible in the type of classes you can take. You don't have to take all your classes in the business school. You have all of University of Chicago at your disposal as long as you just get an approval from the teacher that's teaching a, a different course. So you could literally just take a computer science class, for example. The location's unbeatable for grad school. It's extremely fun. It's super affordable. And it's a really good change of pace if you're going to spend most of your life living in New York SF or LA or something like that. If you're an outlier on the GMAT or your GPA, the scholarships are pretty hefty. So it's a great way to get a great education at a lower price. And lastly, it's not just a finance school. Like the entrepreneurship resources and the tech resources are really, really great and really underrated. So yeah, I think that's basically everything. I hope that was helpful. And if you're applying, honestly, I don't have too many subscribers on this thing. so. Just shoot me a DM, hit me up if you're subscribed, I'd love to help you out. All right, later.